All right, good afternoon, everybody. It's your boy, Akeem. I'm here to talk about a player who I think is overlooked entering this year's NFL draft. One of the premier pass rushers that NFL teams should be looking for for this year's NFL draft. I'm talking about Halohi Kihaha coming out of Washington. Now, for the past two seasons in the Pac-12 Conference and in college football in the country, he was one of the, if not the pass rushers over the past two years. Now, now, he's actually hailing from Leahy, um, Hawaii, and he started seven games as a true freshman. Now, this is a little bit of a setback for the next two seasons. He actually had a torn ACL twice and he on the same knee in which he had to have surgery. But entering his junior season, he exploded in the Pac-12 Conference in 2013 with 13 sacks and 15 and a half tackles for loss. And then in this past year... 73 tackles, 19 tackles for loss, no, 19 sacks with 25 tackles for loss. Those are big numbers in All-American, All-Pac-12 Conference, and I think he should have, uh, he could have made Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year had not Scooby Wright the third had a big season for Arizona. Now, let's talk about his strengths and weaknesses. Now, he has a solid build and muscle tone in his body frame at 6'3", 246 pounds. Now, he has fluid hips, and he could definitely use his his hips well and changing the directions approaching the ball carriers also he has a fierce aggressive motor that you do want at the defensive end position and even as a pass rusher now i do like the fact that he is a good a great for eye technique, he does a he does a good job as a um, um as a three four defensive end in which he was a def, three four outside linebacker for um on Washington this past season and he does has great work ethics and watching the tapes and even learning from the best like Clay Matthews of the Green Bay Packers he tries to mimic their moves and try to use their moves to improve himself and how he could become a better player. I do like his great work ethic and I think he become a good pass rusher a great pass rusher at the next next level in the National Football League. Now, he does have some weaknesses. He tends to get lazy in his tackling technique. He does need to worry about that. He struggles a little. He has struggled in the linebacking drills in the senior bowl practices. I did notice that, and even Scout has reported that. He needs to do a better job as an outside linebacker, but I think he's a great 4-3 three, three defensive end. He could even be in, in the three-point stance or in a two-point stance, but I think he'd be, 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 it would be a better fit as a 3-4 outside linebacker, but I think he can play a 4-3 defensive end because of his size. Um, because of his, um, his athleticism and also because of those two knee injuries that is the reason the main reason why a lot of scouts has been pulling away from him and has been grading him as a third round pick but I still think this is a first round pick talent but because of the knee injuries I have to I think I have to project him as a second round but this is a first round quality player and I don't think on um, scouts and even other analysts are talking enough about Kikaha he's having a, he had a great career a record-breaking career for Washington. I think he deserves a lot more credit than what he has been getting. And I think he's a first-round talented player, but because of the knee injuries, that is a scare. So I have to project him in the second round. But this is a first-round quality player. I wouldn't be shocked if somebody tried to steal him in the first round. Now, I have two more scouting reports I'm going to talk about today. I'll see you guys in just a couple of minutes. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Keen McCall. Be easy.